Oh, uh, what's going on guys? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys, but first things first, as always, hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, I have something new planned for you guys. We are going to be doing another top 5 list, and for today's top 5 list, we are going to be checking out the top 5 chimp strategies in Balloons Tower Defense 6. So for this top 5 list, I'll be doing things a little bit differently. I'm going to do a basic overview of what the strategy entails as far as what towers you're going to have on the field. And then, of course, what tower is going to be the main popping power. Anyways, guys, now that I went ahead and covered that, let's go ahead and jump into number 1. Alright guys, here we are at number one, and coming in at number one is going to be the Apache Prime strategy. So with the Apache Prime strategy, of course, the the name of the strat tells you guys what you're going to be going for, but you're basically going to be going for the Apache Prime. Now the big question is, what maps do you want to use the Apache Prime on? Of course the maps that you want to use the Apache Prime on are going to be single lane maps. So maps like Monkey Meadow and pretty much every single beginner map are going to be maps that you can use the Apache Prime on. The big thing to remember is that once you start getting into multi lane pathways, that's when the Apache Prime loses its effectiveness. Now you can still use the Apache Prime on maps like Infernal or maps that send balloons on all on alternate pathways even though there's is it's a multi-laned map if they send the balloons on all or on alternated rounds that's when you can go ahead and use the apache prime for those maps the next thing we're going to be covering is what towers do you want to use with the apache prime the first one of course is going to be the hero what hero works well with the apache prime I generally go with Etienne whenever I'm using the Apache Prime because what Etienne does is it gives camo detection to your Apache dart ship and you don't need to worry about spending money on the monkey village until you start getting to the late game because if you guys haven't used Etienne before as soon as Etienne hits level 8 if I'm not mistaken he does give camo detection to every single tower on on the map meaning that you don't need to worry too much about going for a monkey village now what towers do you want to use to start this strategy off with so it really doesn't matter how you guys start it you guys can start it with a dart monkey you guys can start it with the monkey ace you guys can start it with the ninja monkey the main thing to remember is you need to have the apache dart ship for round 63 so that gives you plenty of rounds to work with as as long as you have enough money in order to afford the apache dart ship now a couple of support towers that you can use with the apache prime in order to ensure that you're going to be able to beat the chimps map there are quite a few you guys can either use the ice monkey upgraded to ice sickle and pale with enhanced freeze and defreeze what this does it will it will give your apache prime more time to actually hit the uh balloons on dur during the late game and it will also do damage to the balloons as well the big thing to remember with using the icicle impale is you guys do want to go with the monkey village upgrade to the mib so it can deal damage to the ddt balloons the next tower that, that you guys can go with is you guys can go with the classic perma spike. Now with the perma spike, uh, it is a little bit more of a risky play because I feel like going with the, uh, the Icicle Impale is a little bit of a better call because it does provide a decent amount of stun. But if you guys want to go with the perma spike, the perma spike is always an option. The only thing you need to remember is if you're going to upgrade to this cross path right here, make sure you guys throw an alchemist on it, on it, upgrade to acidic mixture dip. Then there are a couple more support towers that you guys can use with your Apache Prime as well. The first one is going to be the Engineer Monkey upgraded to o to Overclock. Just remember that you need to save your Overclock for some of the big rounds like round 95, round 98, and round 99. That's when the o Overclock is really going to come in handy is during those late game rounds. The next tower is going to be another stall tower and it's going to be the Balloon Sabo. The Balloon Sabo of course will help out your Apache Prime because it will give it more time to actually hit the balloons. Alright guys, that's going to do it for the Apache Prime strategy and the number one on our list. So let's go ahead and jump into a number two. Alright guys, here we are at number two. And coming in at number two, I think isn't going to be a big surprise for you guys. But coming in at the number two spot is going to be the Druid strategy. So the Druid strat strategy may not be the strongest strategy in the game, but as far as how easy the strategy is to set up and how many maps this strategy actually works on, I had to put it in this list for the simple fact that you could pretty much be a or all of the beginner maps and a majority of the intermediate maps as well as some 
expert maps using the druid strat because it is just that good of a strategy to use now when you're going for the druid strat strategy there is a couple of different ways that you can start off with you guys don't need to start with ninja you guys can start with dart monkeys go into the monkey ace or do a do a thing with the with the monkey subs there are quite a few different things that's that you guys can do you guys don't always have to go for the ninja but as far as the rest of the strategy it is copy and paste you would go for all of your druids you would upgrade all, all of your druids to the populace with thorn swarm once you get all of, all of your druids up, uh, upgraded to the 015 or 114 you would go for the monkey village you would upgrade the monkey village to the jungle drums with cam with camo detection that way your towers would be able to see camel balloons and the druids we would be able to help out on top of going for the monkey village you would also place down an alchemist because you would want your druids to be able to help out with the lead balloons and if you have an alchemist your druids would be able to passively pop the lead, lead, lead balloons and they would be able to do quite a bit more damage as well now once you have all of this all of your druids are upgraded to the poplus with thorn swarm the next thing you would be doing is just saving up for the avatar of wrath so I think on uh, under most circumstances, you guys would be able to, to afford the Avatar of Wrath around round 82 or 83, depending on what towers you actually went for. And then once you got your Avatar of Wrath, the next thing you would immediately go for is you would upgrade your Monkey Village to the MIB. Which the reason why you go for the MIB is it will allow your Avatar of Wrath to pop the DT balloons, which is something that you would definitely need. The next thing that you would go for once you have all of your druids set up like, like, like this is you would grab yourself a spike factory, upgrade the spike factory to perma spike with faster production, then even faster production, and then you would grab an alchemist to throw on top of your perma spike, and that would do it for the druid strat. Now, again, the maps that you can use the druid strat on are going to be every single one of the beginner maps, some of the intermediate maps even up to the expert maps the big thing to remember is that you do need quite a bit of space in order to place down all of these towers because it does take uh quite a bit of buffs to make the druid strategy actually effective another thing to note is that you guys need to have your druids all within range of your oven because once your oven hits level 11 that's where the druid strategy really starts to pop because that's when he gets his nature's clarity which in turn will buff the druids even more but anyways, guys, that's a brief explanation of how the Druid Strat works. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask this to me in the comments below. This is probably the strat that I'm most comfortable with because it's the strat that I've used the most. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for number two. Let's go ahead and move into number three. All right, guys, here we are at number three. And coming in at number three is probably going to be one of the most fun chimp strategies to actually use because you're pretty much doing something the entire way through, whether it be buying towers or doing micro, there's there's always something to do with this chimp strat. And the chimp strategy that I will be talking about is going to be the Grandmaster Ninja strategy. Now, I'm not going to go too in depth into this one because there's a lot to it, but I'll give the basics of the chimp strat that way you guys can try it for yourself and start doing a little bit of experimentation so the main thing to th remember about the grandmaster ninja strategy is that when you pick a hero you generally want to go with pat fusty because what pat fusty does is it provides knockback for the uh moab balloons on top of that he does have his level three of ability which does boost attack speed making the grandmaster ninja even stronger the next thing that you guys need to know about the grandmaster ninja strat is it does take a lot of space in order to actually get the strategy set up exactly how it's supposed to be set up now with the grandmaster ninja strat it is important to remember that you need to surround the grandmaster ninja with 20 shinobis so remember that when you place down your blue jitsu ninja monkey because you need to make sure that you have enough room around it in order to place down a bunch of sh shinobis around your grandmaster ninja the next thing to note is that you guys need to make sure that you leave enough room for a monkey village whether it be placing down the, mo the monkey village in a early round or making sure that you leave one side of the grandmaster ninja like 
empty so you so you could place down the monkey village during the late game because if you guys didn't know the grandmaster ninja cannot passively pop lead balloons so you would need to make sure that you have the monkey village close by because you would need to upgrade it to the mib in order for it to actually pop the lead balloons and ddt balloons during the late game in chimps mode but anyways guys that's gonna do it for the shinobi strat now if you guys know the proper way of using the shinobis please feel free to let me know in the comments below you guys can do like a list you guys can like do a basic overview again i don't think i'm doing it quite the right way every time i do it all i know is that's been working for me but but anyways guys that's going to do it for number three let's go ahead and move into number four all right guys here we are at number four and number four is going to pain me a lot to show you guys but I need to actually show you guys some of the best chimp strategies in Balloon Star Defense 6. And the strategy that I am going to show you is going to be one of the top three chimp strategies as of the 24.0 update. And that strategy, of course, is going to be the Admiral Brick L strat. So with the Admiral Brick L strat, now I haven't used it a lot, but I have a basic understanding of how the strategy works. And basically what you want to do is you want to go for a bunch of subs. Now, with these subs, the first thing that you would go for is you would go for the uh, sub commander because, of course, if you're going for, mul for multiple subs, you would want to make sure that you have another tower that will increase the attack speed of all of your subs, making them even stronger. The next thing that you would need to go for after the sub commander is you would go for preemptive strike. Now, with the preemptive strike, it is a little bit more of an expensive tower to go for, but it definitely serves a great purpose during the late game because it does have a lot of popping power, especially in chimps mode against the DDT balloons. The next thing you would go for after you get these two towers down and or you find a, diff a different way to start is you guys would just go for more subs. So you, so you guys would spam down as many subs as you guys could fit or as many subs as it, it would take, but you guys would upgrade the monkey subs to ballistic missiles with twin guns and airburst starts. Now, this is pretty much all this strategy consists of. It's much si similar to the Shinobi strat where you place down a bunch of towers and spam down a bunch of towers. This is basically all you need to make the Admiral Brickell strat work. Now, there are a couple of other towers that that you guys would need, need to go for as well of course getting a monkey village or going for a another sub up upgrade to the plutonium reactor which will give it the ability to see camel balloons or if, if you guys have land around your subs you, you guys could save a little bit of money and just go for a monkey village upgrade to mib now, as far as that, this is pretty much the basics of the strat. I don't understand it too much because I don't use it a lot because I'm just not a fan because it involves a lot of micro with uh, the hero. But for those of you who actually knows how this strat this strategy is supposed to work, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. You, you guys can hit me up on Discord. You guys can uh, leave a full list of step one all the way up to step 500 in order to actually use this strategy in chimps but i would like to showcase this strategy in an actual chimps guide for you guys because i do know it is the strongest or one of the strongest strategies currently in blue tower defense six but anyways guys that's gonna do it for number four let's go ahead and move into number five all right guys here we are at number five and number five is hands down the best chimp strategy in balloons tower defense six as of the 24.0 update it is the chimp strategy that you guys would need to use in order to be a bloody puddles and muddy puddles and it works very 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 well on a majority of the expert maps that strategy of course is going to be the moab mauler strat now the main premise of the moab mauler is you need to use striker jones with the strat because of what striker jones does he ends up buffing all mortar monkeys bomb towers and basically anything that has explosives so once you have your striker jones now as far as the start of the strat you you guys have a couple of different options you guys can go with dart monkeys you guys can go with ninja monkeys you guys can go with the monkey ace it really doesn't matter how you guys start as but 
once you guys get past the early game and Belize Tower Defense 6, there's not much else that you really need, need, need to think about. The main thing that you guys need to do is you guys need to go for Monkey Villages upgraded to Primary Mentoring. Once you have this, you would get the Radar Scanner. And now that you have your first primary mentoring down, it's pretty much just a bunch of spam. Now, one of the really good things about using this this the, the strat, unlike a majority of heroes where the towers need to be within range of your hero in order for them to get a buff, what Striker Jones is it actually has a global buff range. So it doesn't matter if the Moab Mauler is right next to Striker Jones or if the Moab Mauler is across the map, it will still be getting the buff from your Striker Jones. As you guys can see, right above the Moab Muller's head, you guys are going to see this little Striker Jones buff. And then if we place another bomb shooter in the very, very back, you guys will still see the same buff that Striker Jones is giving to the Moab Muller that's placed right next to it. But as far as that, there's really not too much to this strat. It's basically a spam strat where you guys would just spam down as many Moab Maulers as you guys could get. I generally like to go with a couple of stall towers, like I'll go for a balloon impact, which will stall the ceramic balloons, which will give your Moab Maulers a little bit more time to actually hit the balloons. Or you guys can go for a balloon sabotage. There's a couple of different towers that you can actually go for. But again, the main premise of this strategy is to spam down as many Moab Maulers as you as you can fit because it will allow you to deal with the balloons or deal with all, all the balloons all the way up to round 100. The last thing that you guys need to do for this strategy in order for it to be effective on the expert maps is you guys would also need to go for a monkey sub upgrade to first strike. Because the Moab Mall shot is very, very good, but you guys need to remember that on their super, super short maps like Muddy Puddles is you guys do need to have a tower that's going to be able to one shot the bad balloon. Because like I was saying, even though the Mauler strat is extremely strong, it does have a couple of weak of weaknesses when it when it comes to some or went to the bad balloon because it does or the bad balloon does have quite a bit of health. So the first strike will allow you to deal with the bad balloon in one shot. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the top five list. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, please feel free to let me know in the comments below if I missed a strategy or if you guys feel like a strategy is better than any of the strategies that I listed. Also, please feel free to let me know in the comments below uh, how to use uh, each of these strategies the right way because I do have a feeling that I probably uh, set up a couple of them wrong. But again, uh, I'm just showcasing the top five strategies in Blue Star Defense 6. But anyways, guys, like I was saying, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to hit that like button. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload quite a bit of Balloon Star Defense 6 content. But anyways, guys, you already know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives. And I will see you guys in the next one.